Hold on, let me get my wig right. <laughs> Hey YouTube and welcome back to It's Amazing. If you're new to my channel, this is your first time seeing this beautiful chocolate face. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit make that red button great and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you do not miss another second of me. Like I know you won't like the video. Hopefully the wig turns out right. You know, I'm low on options. And while you're at it, you can follow my social media accounts so which will be listed below link just for you. Like all you gotta do is just go down and click them and then like all my pictures and then put her eyes on me and then yeah, just do that. Also, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back to yet another video. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope, you know, I hope we make a good wig today. If you already know about to go down. Let's just get right into this video. If you are not new to my channel, I already know like this hair that I ordered off Amazon, I use it for everything. I've used it for ponytail, I use it for slick back, and I'm just loving it. So I'm gonna try to make it into a wig today. Just to, you know, test my look. And I'm gonna go on the trip, so hopefully it turned out right. If it don't turn out right, you see me on social media with a different wig on. Just comment on this video, cause your girl gonna be going through it. And the only three things you're gonna need are a crochet needle, a mesh cap, and the hair, of course. So this is the cap that I use. I did get the one that's $2.99, just because, you know, I want it to be a little bit durable, but I feel like it's better material. It's made for a wig, so hopefully it's like, you know, good material so it won't slip off and be breaking and stuff. And this is my crochet needle, you know, just a regular crochet needle. I got it from Walmart. And last but not least, we have the hair. Now this is my four dollar hair. The hair only costs four dollars for me to get off Amazon. They don't even sell it like this anymore, which I'm so upset about. I will link another option you can get. This is just the passion. What type of hair is this? This is a spring twist hair. So yeah, I'm gonna get my little dome head, and that's gonna be the next person you see. Hopefully, you know, hopefully I can be a good teacher. You know. Hey, so say hello to my co-host. Uh, I'm gonna call her Felicia. Say hey Felicia in the comments. Don't be rude, okay? If you're taking a piece of hair like this, you see the hair? You see it? And maybe, should I stand up? Okay, so all I'm going to be doing is just taking my crochet hook and I am going to slip her under one hole. I'm gonna try not to like double the holes because my head is big and I don't want the cap to shrink because I'm gonna be crocheting in between it. So I'm probably gonna try to go between one hole and come out on the other end. And next, I'm just going to get my hair right here. Gonna put it on the hook, close it, bring it right through. And I'm going to loop the hair just so it can stay on there. Tighten it up. And that's our first little piece right there. That's how I'm gonna be doing it. And I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of pieces up here so y'all can see. Oh yeah, so sit back and listen to this non copyright music. Okay, what I try to do is her.
it's two packs of hair on the thingy and i know y'all can't even see her all the way this is how she looking like you know so now i'm going to defluff just to see if i need to add any more and like cut it and then i want to start shaping it and all that good jazz now and y'all can watch while i do that like i'm just going to be taking it down like how you would uh, twist out try not to get it too messy and just separate it where it wants to naturally separate and then just try to reinforce the curl again oh and start from the bottom because when you start to start the middle she start acting crazy so, okay so i'm gonna start doing that now Okay, so it is the next day and I fluffed the wig all out. Here she is. So hello. So gorgeous. So big and voluptuous. And now it's time to cut her. I'm just gonna plop her on. I know my cornrows looking rough, but mind your business. I'm gonna plop it on and then we're gonna start cutting. Okay, so it's very big, <laughs> very and I might speed this part up because I have somewhere to go in like 10 seconds. So, just in, I'm just gonna cut it, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna shape it some more off camera and stuff. I'm gonna come back when I'm done, but I can see the potential. I can see the vision. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I am back like almost a week later, maybe even more than that. I don't know. But I wanna show you guys like how the wig turned out and like how it looked after I shaped it and cut it to my liking. I think it turned out really nicely. Like we're just gonna see for ourselves. So yeah. I like how I shape it when I put it on. So this is how like the wig looks. Is this? Is this? Bro. Oh. Looks weird. But let's let's just let's just let's just play with it. So I did twist like three pieces that were just I didn't want to cut, but I because I wanted the volume still. So I just kept those pieces in my little bang. I've been wearing this like all week just slapping it on my head and going. So I'm just gonna tuck this under the cap. I really, I'm really not convinced that this is the right side. Okay, and this is how the hair always looks every morning. I plop her on. I don't use bobby pins. I mean, you can if you want to, just to make it more secure. But I mean, I feel, I still feel pretty secure with it because you know my head kind of big, so I feel the cap. So this is how the front is looking. Here's the back. I don't know how it looks because I just fluffed it, but I look at it in the mirror before I go out. The sides. Yeah, it's just like my usual fro but like bigger and fuller and I don't have to mess with my real hair. Okay, so some things for this hair I will say is that you might wanna spray it with some perfume, not might, you want to spray it with perfume before you go out because it is synthetic so it does catch like scents. But other than that, like it's fine. I've been wearing it almost every day, slapping it on my head and like the older it gets, like the better it gets in my opinion. 
so yeah that is my final result and i love it so if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the wig do not forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up and a comment my girl tell me if you like it some if you don't like it like it's giving 90s vibes and i like it also if you want to see even more of my beautiful talking face you can follow me on my social media accounts which will be listed down below link like i gotta go it's just go down there click the link like all my pictures put her eyes underneath them and all that good stuff and yeah i will see you guys in the next one bye